Do you want to go to the Maldives, but don't know what place to book? Feeling overwhelmed by the sheer amount of great looking options? Don't worry. Here is a short guide on how to book the best place for you in the Maldives. Just so you know, we will not go into the costs of getting to the Maldives. If you are looking for how to get good tickets, you can watch these videos here. We really want to focus on how to pick the best place for your holidays. You will spend days or even weeks there, so we want to make sure you make the best choice possible. Before we start, make sure you drop us your questions in the comments section below, in case you need to know more. We will be glad to help you out. First step is knowing your budget. This will be the main decision driver for your stay in the Maldives. If not, lucky you. In that case, congratulations, you can skip to the end of this video. Those of us that work with a limited budget need to be conscious about all costs when planning a trip in the Maldives. The main cost drivers will be accommodation, food and transportation. Only book a place, when you have clear visibility on all of them. You don't want to find out later that the trip from the airport to the resort costs more than the accommodation itself. Costs of Accommodation You can find great guest houses on local islands from 35 US dollars per night, rooms in budget resorts from 125 US dollars per night or even water villas from 290 US dollars per night. If you have plenty of money in the bank, you will find extraordinary places where to spend it. The best resorts have almost no price limit and you can easily spend multiple thousand of dollars per night. So if you are looking for a budget trip, go for a local island or a budget resort. You can still book a day trip to a luxury resort if you really want to experience it. Local islands will not have such amazing service and offers as resorts do, but you can be sure that you will anyway have a wonderful holiday, as the white sand beaches and the crystal clear turquoise Indian Ocean will be exactly the same. Want to enjoy spas, western style services, fully equipped gyms, tennis courts, round-the-clock service, clubs for your kids, exquisite cuisine? Then aim for one of the resorts. If staying at an overwater villa is on your bucket list, but you cannot afford it for your whole stay, look for split options. Resorts will allow you to change rooms during your stay, so you can stay some nights in the overwater villa and some in a cheaper beach bungalow. Or you do some island hopping and stay a few nights at a resort and the rest on a cheaper, local island. If you choose this option, make sure you check up front the costs of transportation between those islands. If you travel with kids, you will have to select your accommodation carefully. There are only a few places that offer family rooms with enough beds for a bigger family. Most likely, they will ask you to book two rooms, doubling your costs of accommodation. Costs of food most places offer breakfast only, half board with breakfast and dinner, full board with three meals or all-inclusive packages that also include additional options and alcoholic beverages. The price difference per night between a breakfast only option and a full board can easily reach multiple hundreds of dollars. You can find restaurants on local islands, where the prices range between 10 US dollars for a basic meal per person up to 50 US dollars for fresh fish or meat. There are also small shops, where you can find a limited selection of sweets, basic groceries and some fruits. On resort islands, you will be limited to the food the resort has to offer. Most resorts have amazing cooks, preparing a broad variety of local and international cuisine. Expect to pay at least 50 US dollars per meal, if you don't go with any of the prepaid options. If you want to know exactly how much you will be charged up front, then go with the full board or all-inclusive option. You will be overwhelmed by the amount of tasty food, so if you are not a big eater, the half-board option should be enough. You can always grab a light salad or small snack over lunch, before you get your multiple course dinner in the evening. Transportation Costs of transportations are the most underestimated expenses during the Maldives trip. Almost all of you will be arriving at the international airport in mail and from there, you will have multiple options on how to reach your final destination. Local ferry, speedboat, local flight or seaplane flight. The local ferry is something for the more adventurous persons and has certain limitations on when and where you can go. 
The speed is slow, but the price is amazing. You will be able to reach some of the local islands for a few dollars. The speedboat is the best option in terms of price and flexibility. However, you can only reach islands that are a maximum of 2 hours from the airport. The price is between 35, 110 US dollars per person, depending on the distance and destination. They can also leave in the evening and allow you to skip an overnight stay in mail, in case your flight arrives late in the afternoon. Local flights and seaplane flights are the only way on how to reach the more remote islands and certain resorts. As they don't fly during the night, you will have to coordinate well and make sure you can still make it the same day as you arrive. Otherwise you will lose one night in mail, and trust us, it is not worth visiting. The price can be between 350, 500 US dollars. Some of the high-end resorts will even charge you over 1000 US dollars per person for the return trip. So before booking, always check on how you can reach the place and how much it will cost. This information is most of the time available on Booking.com or you can check with the resort directly. Now that you have your budget together, you can start looking for the perfect fit based on your preferences. Put the maximum price per night, limit the distance from the airport in case you want to use speedboats only and add your food preferences. If you need some tips on how to search via Booking.com, we have also a video for that. Hope this video helps you. Let us know in the comments if you have any further questions. Stay safe and keep traveling. See you next time.